used to be my school. Towering over everything else, five stories high, made almost entirely of yellow brick and glass, replaced by two tiny shacks, one bright green, the other a dark purple. Seriously, I remember how it was 30 years ago. Ah, my friends, crazy people that they were, getting me to do things I normally wouldn't have done. Riding bikes through canals where water was waist high, going base jumping off that huge office building, flying kites in rainstorms with keys attached to the ends, of course, and inside school, being trouble and having fun, spraying graffiti, playing pranks, we even blew up some kid's locker. One of us got expelled for that. And then there was the school part of school. I, I, I absolutely hated Mr. Priest, who suspended Martin and I for knocking his mug over and breaking it. That mug has had some sentimental value. Loved Miss Lotus, who did nothing when I put a fake turd in Jason's desk, and skipped Miss Jacob's class, who would babble on and on about a single subject. An example, how horrible her first husband was to her 16 years ago. But there, I had a life. I had everything. Now my life was normal and boring and sad. I had 13 friends. One, Dominic, killed in a plane crash. Two, Jacob a mountain, never came down. Three, Joseph, who's barely getting by. Four, Martin, went missing four days before his college graduation. Five, ba Xavier, base jumped one too many times. Splat. Seven, <laughs> Seth, who lives on YouTube. Eight, Jason, who was very recently taken by rabies. Nine, George, who runs two very successful companies and always insists on wearing a tuxedo. 10, 11, 12, Ethan, Mason, and John, who are brothers and live together in Connecticut with their mother. 13, Wesley, my brother, drowned. <laughs> then, then there's me. Poor then, rich now. Happy then, depressed now. Contented then, dissatisfied now. Lots of things have changed in the passage of 30 years. Oh, I'm here. I jump out of my hover car, having reached my destination, and head towards the door. I knock, then wait. A weary voice calls, who is it? I answer, me, don't ask again. The door opens, Connor, great to see you. Come to lend me money? I laugh, cut right to the chase, huh? Does that mean no? Joseph was always asking for money, always. Why else would I be here? I asked, pressing an envelope into his hands. This is $400. Don't lose it. I won't. The door sh shuts, then opens again. Come on in. Um, I'll get you a root beer. OK. So he was better off than I thought. I go inside, shut the door, and sit on the couch. He sits on the other end. Remember high school? It's been, it's been a long time since 2025. 30 years. We're silent for a long time. So, J so Jason died last month. Oh, I'm setting up the funeral. All right. More silence. I should go. OK. I walk out to the door. See you next Saturday. All right. Wait, why? I smile, close the door, and head to my hover car. On to the next errand. 